I'd like to talk to you now about electrics. Let's say we've got two pieces of wire we'd like to join together. Well, for me, there's three options. You can either get the two wires, twist them together, like that. You can then bend that back, and you can put some insulation tape around it. That would do, but it's not a brilliant way. They pull apart very easily. So let's scrap that one. The next option, then, is to use a connector block. Basically, strip the ends of the wires down, push them into the connector block, tighten them up. That does the job. It's quite secure, quite sturdy, but it looks a bit untidy. You couldn't really hide that. And also, you've got two open connections there, there and there, that you could actually get shorting out. So that, again, is not the perfect way to do it. So I think this way is the best way. What you need to do is cut yourself about an inch and a half of heat shrink tubing, slide it onto the wire, and then cut the insulation away, probably leaving maybe an inch and a quarter there and an inch and a quarter there. Get the two pieces of wire, lay them like that, and twist them together. That gives you a nice, neat finish. And the wire isn't that much thicker than the insulation. Once we've done that, take your soldering iron, warm the wire up, and run some solder down it. All the way down. Keep running the solder all the way along. Let it run into the strands of wire. That now is as strong as you'll get. Let that cool off. You're not going to get any stronger than that. What you do need to do, though, is just let that cool down sufficiently so that when you pull the heat shrink tubing on, it doesn't actually start to melt straight away. Slide your heat shrink tubing over the top of the join. So, all we need to do now is get ourselves some sort of a heat source. You can use a hairdryer, you can use a hot air gun, whatever. I've just actually pinched this out of uh, Richard's changing room. Warm that up. So there we go. We've heated it up just enough to make it contract. As you can see, it's stuck on either end of the, the actual sleeve in there. That's not going to move anywhere. And I think you'll find that's as good as you can get.